You don't really know much about Halloween. to another Sinister Snacks. I'm your host, Laura. I'm Joel. And we're the Newly Dads. And we are having a brand new chip that Joel just found in the stores yesterday. Uh, it is dill or fried dill pickles with ranch flavored. And uh, tell them why you got it. The whole reason I got this is because it says Midwest inspired and we live in the Midwest, technically. Uh, <clears throat> we're more in the, the northern part of the the United States, but uh, it is a Midwestern snack, apparently, to eat fried pickles and ranch. Weird. I, I thought that was a nationwide thing. So but did I. We like uh, dill pickle chips occasionally. We love ranch. Um, and I love fried dill pickles. And we enjoy fried dill pickles with ranch. And we've had chips like these before, but they've never very been successful with their never very, never been very successful. I can't talk. Um, with actually getting the flavors right. Yeah. So a little apprehensive, but the other options that they've got right now are ones we've already tried. And I couldn't resist because they got me with the word Midwest. What? Does it, it smell pickly? Good. Yeah. It says bite into memorable moments with Midwest inspired zing and a buttermilk crunch. What, uh, which other flavors hit home? And then it's got like a thing you can recommend. It does smell good. Ranchy pickly. Here, I'm just going to grab a couple. I grabbed... Trace. I dra- grab Trace also. All right, I'm going to start with the little guy. Cheers, Cheers before, before you chew. chew. And Lays, I know I, I really give you a hard time, so you got a lot to live up to. There's definitely a little bit of dill. Mm-hmm. That's the pickle part. I taste ranch, too, though. But how do you get a fried flavor in a chip? Yeah, that's the hard part. Well, here's the thing. When you get um, dill chips, dill pickle chips, chances are you're going to wreck the top of your mouth because the dill is so intense that it almost overwhelms. They did go the right route, I think, in toning the dill down a little bit. With the ranch flavor. Mm-hmm. Because ranch has, like, dilly kind of stuff in it, too, but... Some some ranch is more dilly than others. I like my ranch to be less dilly. She likes more dilly. But we both dilly-dally. Um, so the ranch with the pickle was a smart way to kind of tone it down. I feel like closing your eyes and just focusing on the flavor sometimes helps. I might do one more. I'm going to say they're 75% successful. And I'd say the pickle and the ranch part. Oh, oh I'll bite. I'll get it. I, I feel like it's there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the fried part, though. Well. I don't know how you do that. Yeah. They're pretty, you- they're pretty decent. I, you know me. I like crunchy chips, and it's a regular lay, but like, I, I can't fault them for that because it's a lay. You know, I mean, I love a good lay, but um, yeah, yeah. I ain't mad at them. I mean, no, would I, I eat them? Yeah, I would. I I would choose this. Yeah, I mean, every day. I mean, you know, that I was going to eat a soft chip. The other problem with lays is that they tend to, especially on their just yellow bag standard chips, or just the salt is so incredibly high that it's just unbelievable. This, I feel like, again, they've kind of toned it down a little bit. Apparently, you're listening to us, lays. Smart choice. Listen to us because we eat a lot of snacks. Mm. Um, 50% chip. <laughs> which between the two of us, that makes 100% chips. On a scale of 1 to 10, or 100% chips? Between the two of us. If you're 50% chip and I'm 50% chips, mm-hmm. we're 100% chip together. 
where I chip off the old block. So one out of ten. <laughs> yes. um, I'll give it a six. I'm gonna give it a seven. I, I like it. I feel like it's a pretty, a pretty solid swing and a and a and a like a second base run. It's a good summertime picnic chip. That's exactly what I was thinking. Like a sandwich with some mayo and mm -hmm. pickles on it. Mm. Some sort of whatever you like on your sandwich. Yeah, it'd be like a whole pickle jam. Oh, uh, some crunchy like sourdough type bread. I might or bring this on uh, to our cookout on Monday. I think I'm going to. If they still are here. Oh yeah, we do eat a lot of chips. Yeah, not as okay. much as we used to. Well, th thank you for watching. If you want to find us um, other places, you can go to thenewlydeads.com and find all of the. We always say spooky <clears throat> needs, but it's like all sorts of different stuff. So we've got um, information on our other shows. We've mm -hmm. got a blog um, where we talk about different things. Joel reviews movies and I review local businesses um, in the Midwest, pr pretty much. Yeah, not um, just Rockford. <clears throat> not just Rockford. Uh, and then, um, you know, we've got different art things and events and stuff like that coming up. So uh, always check that kind of stuff out. And uh, anything else I missed? That uh, we will be at the Summerween event June 23rd. Yeah, because we had to postpone it. It has been postponed due to some really nasty weather that's coming through. So uh, we're going to talk about it again until it happens. So just check out the uh, limited edition poster that will be there. Yes, uh, this is now a collector's item. So all the more reason you need to pick one up. Uh, we'll also have stickers that Mrs. Newly Dead made and I made. So those will be there as well. And uh, so come visit us at this new date and time. So I'll slap that information up here and uh, we hope to see you there. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh, wait. Let's quit yakking. Get back to snacking. Bye. Halloween. The Festival of Sawa. Happy Halloween.